HSA Softball State Elite Eight is underway. Our News 12 Sports Director, Dave Booth, joining us live now from Columbus, where five of our local teams are starting off a day full of playoff softball action. Dan. Meredith and Will, not one, not two, but as you mentioned, five of our local teams are here in Columbus and hit the diamond today, hoping to become one step closer to winning a state championship and bringing it home to the CSRA. Now, this atmosphere here is incredible. I am currently inside of a stadium right now. There are eight other softball fields all around this complex, and it has been an emotional roller coaster for everyone, including our local teams. And our first game of the day was no exception. Glasscock County ended up taking a two to nothing lead on two solo home runs into the seventh, but then they gave up both of those runs and ended up falling to Wilcox County three to two in heartbreaking fashion. They'll be back at it tomorrow against Bowden at five o'clock. In class 6A, the Grovetown Warriors, who are making their first appearance in Columbus in school history, they ended up having a tough time at the plate today because Noonan's pitcher, Matty Veal, threw a no hitter through six and two thirds against the Warriors and helping her team, Noonan and end up beating Grovetown three to nothing. It was a tough timeout for Grovetown, but they'll be back at it as well tomorrow at seven o'clock. Now in 3A, Harlem, after a really slow start, it just continued to have a ripple effect throughout the rest of that game. They ended up losing nine to nothing to Gordon Lee, a team that is one of the favorites coming in here to be able to win class 3A and take home the state title. Harlem, once again, will be back at it tomorrow at five o'clock. Washington Wilkes are making their first appearance in Columbus in 20 29 years was on fire at the plate today. They beat Telfair County 9-1 to and leading the way, Allie Hookie is their senior pitcher. She has over 200 strikeouts on the season and over 450 in her career. She was a monster in the circle all day long and really helped propel the Lady Tigers to victory in Class 1A Division 2. Our final game of the day wrapped up just moments ago and Emanuel County ended up losing to Georgia Military College five to four in on a walk off hit by Georgia Military College. It was a heartbreaking loss once again. And as I've been alluding to throughout this whole segment, this is double elimination, which means that regardless of the results today, all of our teams will be in action tomorrow. Some with their backs up against the wall, while Washington Wilkes has the opportunity to get one step closer and remain in the winner's bracket to getting to that state championship in Class 1A Division 2. We're going to have continuing coverage on all of our local teams throughout the night. It has been a wild day here in Columbus and it's just getting started with all of our coverage but for now reporting from Columbus Dan Booth on your side and hopefully a lot of our teams can pull that out it sounds like a great atmosphere with the crowd in the background there Dan thanks for those updates live from Columbus